some of the most influential members of Chile's economic, political and artistic community arrive at the Palestinian Club in Santiago to take part in a fundraiser for victims of the war in Gaza. Former Congressman and Constitutional Convention Delegate Fuad Chain is among them. In Chile, people understand that this is not a religious conflict with Israel as some claim, but rather between an occupying power that is looking to carry out ethnic cleansing and an occupied people. Like the majority, Chain's grandfather came to Chile to avoid the army when Palestine was controlled by the Ottoman Empire and later the British. Some cross the Andes Mountains on donkeys from neighboring Argentina. The vast majority came from Christian communities. Today, they're among the wealthiest in the country. In Patronato, nicknamed Little Palestine, the streets are full of Palestinian restaurants, bakeries, and symbols of support for the Palestinian cause. The first Palestinians began arriving at the end of the 19th and beginning of the 20th century. Then, in the 1990s, a new group arrived. And finally, in the last six years, more Palestinians, this time mainly Muslims, have begun coming here for the obvious reasons. 22-year-old Aya al-Hamidi came to Chile with her parents from a refugee camp on the Iraqi-Syria border. She's now a citizen. I'm grateful to Chile because it's a country that opens its doors to people who are suffering. Aya has spent every weekend at demonstrations to denounce what many in the community describe as Israeli genocide in Gaza. Like Aya, Chile's former women's minister says Chilean Palestinians never forget their roots. My grandmother always told me, never forget Palestine. We have the mandate and that responsibility. You really feel that, I ask? Every day of my life, and especially during a time of crisis like this. A crisis that seems to have no end, which is why the largest Palestinian community outside of the Middle East is sticking steadfast to the cause of those thousands of kilometers away. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.